guys, so today I have a project that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I just haven't quite known how to do it, and that is water cool a computer. Um, lots of people do it, and I hadn't done it, and I'm into computers, and I really wanted to. The thing is, I was going to water cool my main rig, but that's expensive. That was going to be like, if I wanted to do that property, that was properly, that was going to be somewhere in the price range of around like 300 bucks. Three to four hundred dollars, and I didn't want to spend that much money. So um, the other day, I was browsing on YouTube, and I found this channel, Geek Seek, and uh, I think that's what it's called. If, I'm, if it's not, I'll, I'll have the link in the description to it. I, sorry if I messed up on the name. They made a video of uh, custom water cooling for like forty dollars, DIY custom water cooling for forty bucks. I saw that, I was like, dang, I bet I could do that. Um, and so they got all the parts off uh, eBay and Amazon, and they pieced it together, and it was really cool. So they used like a uh, just a pickle jar as a reservoir. They used a little uh, fountain pump as their pump. Um, there was a cheap, uh, like $10 CPU block that they got um, and made a custom mounting solution for it um, and a little radiator and a fan. It was pretty cool. And I'm like, I can do this. Something I could actually do. Um, I couldn't find the prices for as cheap as they did. Um, it was a little bit more than $40 for all the stuff that I got. But still, um, it worked out to be really inexpensive, under $100 after I bought um, all the extra little things that I need, like the screws and the bolts and the market, it was a few dollars more for all the main parts. Um, but after I bought everything, it wasn't that expensive. And I already had uh, the Q6600 rig that you guys have probably seen in the old CPU, new GPU video. And I decided, well, I don't really want to DIY my main computer in case something happens to it, but if I mess up this computer, I don't really care. So um, that's what we're doing today. This is me, I actually already built it, <laughs> but this is me, this is the process of me building it. I'll be showing you guys. And then we'll look at my temps that I'm getting, um, what I've done with it, and kind of my reason behind doing what I did. And then um, some sick B-roll. So, let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to try to take off the uh, stock heatsink that it comes with. Because, obviously, we're putting a water block on there. the entire heat sink. So here's what I want to do. So this, I've cleared out the inside of the case. Um, I took out the big fat heat sink that was right in here. Uh, I also took out some other things. Took out this hard drive cage uh, that was right here. And I took out the extra expansion cards from over here that I don't need. Um, and so here's what I want to do. I need, to, I, the ports are still on their way, but I will have the CPU block on here. I'm going to put my 120 millimeter radiator and this is the fan I'm going to be using over here um, as an output. I might try to find a better place. This will work because this exhausts to the outside. Um, it's not going to have the best airflow, so maybe I can find something better. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. And then it's, and then over, oops, my phone just went off. Oops, okay. Uh, and then down here, I'm going to have my reservoir. Right now, I'm, I have this glass jar um, just to keep it cheap. And I kind of like the home built look, I guess. I might try to figure something else out, but this fits in here well. I kind of wish it was a higher volume, but it fits in there well. And then I'm going to have a little, my little 12 volt uh, pump be right here. I haven't figured out what I want to do with the side panel yet. I might just leave it off. I might put a hole in it and put a uh, polycarbonate, like a nice window. Um, for sure, I'm going to want to add some LEDs also. So I'll probably throw in some LEDs in here somewhere to make it look all cool. Uh, and then that'll be our loop. All right, so now it's the next day. Um, I've decided our parts are still coming. They should be coming this afternoon, uh, very soon. But we're gonna mix up our coolant while we're waiting. Um, I didn't buy coolant because that adds to cost and you can make it yourself. So here I have antifreeze and distilled water. And we're gonna be mixing these to make our coolant. Um, yeah, so the antifreeze is obviously anti-freezing purpose. It has some other stuff in it that's good for this. Um, also, it's harder for stuff to grow in antifreeze than distilled water, so um, we're making it for, we're adding it for that reason, and then we're adding distilled water because it's very pure, and we don't want any, any other chemicals or anything in uh, 
in the loop like you would with tap water. So we're gonna mix, I think I'm gonna do about 50-50, um, antifreeze and water. I might do like 40-60. We'll do around 50-50 though. Um, so let's get, let's get started on that. set up here. I uh, have all the parts now. I went to the hardware store and got the other parts that I didn't have. And we are going to test and see if we have any leaks. So I just have this all kind of setting here. Um, and we are going to try to run it through, see how much liquid it takes. thermal paste on and my makeshift uh, CPU block so it's going to go on like this and then the okay I only have enough thermal paste to do this once so if I screw it up I'm kind of screwed This is a piece of double stick tape, and it's like the foam kind, so that should compress down and give us our even amount of pressure. All right, I'm gonna say that's good. Let me tighten this a little bit more. And our CPU is mount. Our CPU block is mounted. I've already leak tested it with regular regular um, water, or distilled water, I should say. So now I'm ready to actually add the coolant. So this is the, uh, what's it called? Antifreeze and uh, distilled water together in like a 40-60 mix. And so we're gonna put our pump down inside of there. Make sure our drain is inside of there also, that's kind of important. Would you look at that, it's running. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, so far it seems to be working. I could have sworn I saw a drop fall, but maybe I was just imagining things. I've been working on this for a long time now. Um, I know the cable management isn't the best, but this case is terrible when it comes to cable management. So, I'm just doing my best here. This cable running across here is really a pain in the butt. Yeah, I also added this LED strip that I happen to have in my room. And I think it looks really nice. I guess I'll just let this run for a while. The actual computer itself isn't being powered on. Just the pump, this fan, and the lights. They're all in the same Molex connector. So as you guys can probably see behind me, it's running just fine. Um, so the temperatures, I hit about, I'm, I idle at about 28 Celsius, between 28 and 30 degrees Celsius. 
and under full load I barely break about 60 so I'm about 61 degrees Celsius under full load which I think is pretty good considering this processor puts out like 105 watts uh, under under full load and I only have a one 120 uh, millimeter radiator so I think that's pretty good now I can't overclock it with this board this is an OEM Dell motherboard otherwise I would try overclocking and I think I could probably get some pretty good results um, but yeah those are my attempts it doesn't it doesn't get too hot uh, but yeah, I think this turned out really well. Um, it, it was a good way to get into water cooling. If you guys have any ideas for anything I should do with water cooling in the future, I have some really fun ideas that I want to try with cooling. Um, I might do like a series or something around cooling. Uh, follow me on Twitter. If you guys want to talk to me or anything, my Twitter is the way to talk to me. So I'll put the handle below. It's at, it's at Jeevan32. Um, but yeah, follow me there. Anyway, uh, I think it turned out well. Let me know your thoughts of it on the comments in the comments below. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. All right, bye.